Well, as I have often said, I love the early mornings, love the beauty of the sunrise, and boy, to do it today is no different. Oh, just gorgeous morning. And, and this is kind of for all of those who think that Western Washington, Seattle area, Bellingham to Portland, all that area, it, it only rains all the time. This is to show you that it doesn't rain all the time. Just a beautiful day. Uh, great forecast for today. At any rate, enough for the weather report. Let's get to some good seeds this morning. Uh, Jeremiah 16, 17, Psalm 96, and John chapter 16 are the chapters that I read today for my uh, quiet time for my reading in the Word. And uh, the 8th and ninth, or the 7th and 8th verse uh, and verse 13 of Jeremiah chapter 17 are just powerful, powerful verses. Listen to what they say. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Verse 13, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you shall be ashamed. Those who depart from me shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Wow, this is uh, this is the same principle that we find in the first Psalm. Uh, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. His leaf shall not wither, and he'll yield fruit in its season. So it's a very similar kind of uh, principle that we're seeing here from uh, the, the right of the writings of David. Uh, but, but there's a great blessing for those who put their trust in the Lord. The blessing received there are not blessings of, uh, well, they are blessings of fruitfulness and prosperity, but not necessarily prosperity like uh, some would like us to believe today. But, and I'm just getting an amen from the seagulls. But there's safety and peace, growth and security. And it's noteworthy that it says those whose hope is the Lord. It doesn't say in the Lord because the Lord himself is our hope. He is the fulfillment of everything, everything that our souls ever long for. And just as the psalmist says in Psalm 1, the ungodly are not so. Here is the, here is the proclamation that those who don't know the Lord, ungodly, that is those who forsake the Lord, are going to be ashamed and their names will be written in the earth. I'm not sure exactly what that is going to look like, look like, but, but the context would lead me to believe that it's not a very good thing. But those whose hope is the Lord, my hope is the Lord. It is Jesus who came, who died, who uh, was crucified, died, rose from the grave, sits now at the right hand of the Father, ever making intercession for, huh, for me and for you because we have a God who loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him would have not perish but have everlasting life that's the promise our hope is the Lord because he alone is worthy of our praise he alone is the one who has done this for us so on this first day of the week this Monday morning let us join <laughs> let's join the seagulls in giving praise to the Lord for his goodness to us. Amen. He is a good father. He loves us so much and we want to praise him. And for those who are ashamed of the Lord, um, boy, it, it's just important that we all turn our hearts to the Lord. I could go off and, and preach right there, but I just, I just want us to be encouraged this morning in the God who loves us. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today, I pray.